All right, here we want to calculate um, an incremental cash flow for a project, and we're going to do this in a given year of the project's life. And so here we're going to be dealing with uh, year one, and uh, in this particular problem, the, the, all of uh, all of the cash flow is going to be uh, attributable to things that are happening in uh, in operations. Okay, so uh, working down um, what looks like an income statement within uh, an adjustment for depreciation, uh, using the numbers that we have here, we're going to start with sales. So the incremental sales for the machine, incremental sales of the machine, $380,000 per year. So that's a positive incremental cash flow. And so that's like the top line of an income statement. Then we have incremental expenses or costs of goods sold of 110,000 per year. So we'll subtract that out. That's 270,000 per year. This is a number that um, in accounting we would call gross profit. Okay. And so in the context of the project, that's going to be the incremental gross profit amount. Now we need to go find uh, depreciation. So here we know that we are going from $387,000 as the purchase price of the uh, uh, machine all the way down to zero. So we're going to fully depreciate this over seven years. And so the annual depreciation amount is $387,000. Divide that by seven, and what do we have? We have 55,286 per year. And so we'll go ahead and subtract the depreciation then here. We're gonna subtract 55,286. Six, and what do we have after that? We have 214,714. We call this earnings before interest and taxes or EBIT. Next step is going to be to calculate taxes and taxes uh, is going to be the tax rate of 18% times EBIT. So subtracting taxes here, we have 214714 times 0.18. That's going to be a reduction of 38649. And so here we have incremental earnings. 176.065. So almost done. So our final step is going to be to go from incremental earnings to incremental cash flow. And so the adjustment here, uh, going from incremental earnings to incremental cash flow, is to simply recognize that this line was a non-cash expense. And so we're going to add it back. So add back depreciation, 55, 286. Add that back, and we have 231. 351. This is going to be incremental cash flows. And that is the answer. Note there's nothing else going on in uh, the context of this problem. And so this actually would be uh, the cash flow line that goes into the ultimate uh, NB fee calculation.